film, tako. Održat će Svetlana Cvetko, koja je vrlo ocijenjena sa snima teljica i ja bih... It is incredibly special to be here, kind of on my old stamping grounds. Today, the topic of the conversation today is women behind the camera. Professionally, I am a cinematographer and I also now am a director. My name is Svetlana Svetko and thank you for being here. The majority of my work that I got recognized for is as a cinematographer. And um, uh, this is where uh, some of my biggest accomplishments are. Um, I have worked on uh, I have worked on several Academy uh, recognized films, including um, uh, Inside Job, uh, that was an Oscar winner, Oscar nominated uh, Facing Fear, and I also contributed to OJ Made in America, which won the. Um, Best Academy, uh, Best Documentary Oscar last year, and we have a producer, two producers here, Nina Akustic and Caroline. Um, the other films that may be worth mentioning is Inequality for All. There was um, a jury that had a special jury prize at Sundance, and uh, Red Army that we had a, um, a, a official premiere, um, and it was a playing selection in Cannes Film Festival. Uh, in addition uh, to my life as a cinematographer, um, as I mentioned, I also uh, started to build a career as a director, and uh, I like to say as a director DP because I also uh, I like the combination. Uh, last year, I made a short documentary uh, called Your Cecilie Lois Weber, and um, this film deals with a historical figure. Her name is Lois Weber, and she was one of the most prolific directors, writer, producers in Hollywood during the silent era. Uh, this film played last year, uh, the first year, and it was playing at the opening night here at the uh, History Film Festival. So it turns out um, there were many successful women being directors, writers, and producers during the silent film era. And I will focus on three of them. Of course, there was, as I said, many others. And the reason is because of their key role to success um, is, it should be, is credited to another woman. And uh, I think it's something that we can learn uh, for the future and implement as each one of us uh, go through our own careers and, um, and build our own in order to extend and, um, and pass on to another woman. Uh, Alice Guy Blash, um, Blaschet, uh, the film, she's a film pioneer. She made her first film in 1896. Uh, she was, uh, she's considered a first woman director and for the 10 years, probably the only filmmaker in the world. She directed and supervised, or supervised, over 700 silent films. Uh, I think actually out of that 150 were about uh, were uh, uh, sound films. In 1912, she moved to US uh, from France, and she built her own production studio um, before Hollywood even existed as we know it. What's interesting is that Lois Weber worked for her. She trained under her, and she learned from her. And so, in addition to what you heard in the film about Lois Weber, um, she also is uh, uh, a woman who pioneered the use of the split, uh, split screen technique in the movie. the more money got made, the Wall Street became involved, and the industry um, 
kind of gun consolidated and uh, and we started having the studio systems so from a hundred small production company uh, in 1920s uh, by 1993 we actually really just have a uh, seven major studios and uh, slowly women got pushed out if you look at just one company like Universal that was you know hiring Alois Weber um, they used to have 11 prolific women directors in the, in the early 20s, in the 1920s, and then they really completely stopped hiring women. Um, 1982 is a very important year, uh, and um, even I was surprised and didn't ever think of 1982 as something very important, but it truly is, uh, because that was the year that Universal hired a woman director, uh, Amy Heckerling, to direct Fast Times at uh, Richmond High. And why is that significant? Because they haven't hired a woman to direct a film over 50 years. Not one single woman. That's, uh, that's just mind-boggling. So um, I do feel incredibly fortunate um, that I had an option, and not everybody has this, but somehow, um, I, I lucked out that I had opportunities and maybe because the first documentary I was shot won Oscar, those opportunities came easier to me, but I was able to pick what I wanted to work on. And so um, I did focus on the very big topics of, that are my interests, which is politics, social issues, I also like sports and obviously women issues. But this year in particular, uh, because of everything that's going on, I decided that I wanted to concentrate on uh, uh, female-centric projects. And... Um